climate change is a state of consciousness. It's on all of our minds now. And with that, a lot of companies and people are inventing a lot of really cool new products. One of those products I noticed in my brand new Tesla, and it was the first Tesla model to have a heat pump in it. What's a heat pump? Well, before Tesla had a heat pump in it, they relied solely on heated seats to heat the cars. Now a heat pump, like a mini airplane engine, would heat and cool the car. So how are they used in buildings and homes? Well, we're gonna explore that today. Let's dive in. Heat pumps have been around for a long time, and until recent years, heat pumps have only fulfilled 7% of the global heating demand. But their technology has improved drastically, and they're now one of the most popular choices for an HVAC system. So what is a heat pump? Why are they important to saving you money on your energy bills, fighting climate change, reducing our dependency on gas and fossil fuels? And why is everyone talking about them now as an important future replacement to AC and heating systems across the world? What is a heat pump? How heat pumps work uh, is actually all they're doing is transferring heat. During the winter, they're taking heat out of the air and moving it into the home. During the summer, they're taking heat out of the home and moving it outside. Uh, a lot of people think when you're air conditioning the space, you're cooling down the air. It's a, kind of a weird concept to understand, but you're actually not cooling the air, you're taking the heat out of it. And a good way to think about it is if you stand next to your air conditioner during the summer, uh, how you can feel that heat coming off of it, well, that heat that's coming off of it is actually the heat being removed from inside your home and being rejected outside. Uh, in the winter, it's the same thing, just opposite. So we're taking, even when it's cold outside, there's still heat in the air, and we're taking that heat and moving it from outside to inside the home. Uh, and that energy transfer is very, very efficient. So on the heating side, uh, you know, we can see what's called a COP, a coefficient of performance. Uh, upwards of three to four COP, which what that means in real world terms is it's 300 to 400% efficient. Okay, so a heat pump does the same job as an air conditioner and a furnace as a single unit, and they work even in cold environments. They're also three to 400% efficient. This is one of the reasons they're gaining so much time in the spotlight, including lawmakers trying to deploy heat pumps everywhere they can. Earlier this year, President Biden invoked the Defense Production Act to boost domestic manufacturing of heat pumps, and recently this summer, Congress passed climate legislation making them more affordable to purchase using tax credits and subsidies. This is on top of their high efficiency and ability to drastically lower consumers' energy bills and our dependency on Russian fuels. Iowa is a leader in wind energy, and our utility partner is adding solar to that mix. So every year the grid gets greener. So if we are heating and cooling our homes with uh, green carbon-free energy, um, we are having a great impact uh, on the environment. The perfect time to install a heat pump is when your AC uh, breaks down and needs to be replaced. Because that uh, heat pump replaces um, the outdoor unit of your air conditioning and you can keep the rest of your system as is. So you can keep that uh, gas furnace as a backup. Um, both ground source heat pumps and air source heat pumps are, are great tools to reduce your um, reliance on fossil fuels, uh, but it's much easier to retrofit uh, your, your um, existing home with the, uh, an air source heat pump versus geothermal. So we do see a lot of uh, um, new builds and retrofits going with a dual fuel system. So they do get to keep that gas furnace while getting the benefits of an efficient air conditioning and heating units on the shoulder seasons. All of our local utilities, including Mid-American Energy, Alliant Energy, and Lynn County Rural Electrical Cooperative, offer rebates on heat pumps, but do check with your local utility for terms and conditions. Heat pumps are making headlines and becoming one of the most popular choices for HVAC systems across the country. This is partly due to their ability to operate in cold environments, and they can now, with technology breakthroughs, work about anywhere, even in temperatures below sub-zero. But thanks to their energy efficiency, heat pumps are some of the cheapest clean energy alternatives to heating and cooling a home. Now, when it comes to heat pumps in general, uh, heat pumps actually, for the first time in 2020, outsold furnaces for the first time in US history. And that's a pretty startling statistic when you think about it, because we are a gas dominated society. We've heated with gas as long as there's been gas to heat homes with. Uh, so in 2020, heat pumps outsold furnaces for the first time in American history. And that wasn't just a one off COVID type supply chain related thing. Uh, those statistics have actually continued to happen uh, since 2020. Every quarter, there's a, a what's called AHRI. They are the basically overarching body on top of all of heating and cooling. Uh, they're the ones that do all the efficiency ratings. They're the ones that report out on market share and things like that. Uh, they're the unbiased third party people that talk about everything that has to do with heating and cooling. They've shown 
that we are still selling more heat pumps into the market than furnaces every quarter since 2020. Which, you know, when I talk to contractors out there that are second, third, fourth generation, they never thought that day would happen here in the Midwest where we would see more, more heat pumps sold than furnaces. Why is the City of Iowa City's Climate Committee, a city department, interested in promoting heat pumps? And what are they doing to help local residences and businesses install them? One of the reasons we want to encourage homeowners to switch from a natural gas furnace to an electric air source heat pump is that natural gas is a fossil fuel, the burning of which creates carbon dioxide, which warms the atmosphere. The extraction and transportation of natural gas also releases methane, which is a very potent greenhouse gas. Iowa City has installed some heat pumps in some of our city-owned rental properties, and we are piloting a grant program for some income-qualified homeowners. We are looking to expand that grant program to all Iowa City homeowners in the near future. So the majority of the household energy budget goes to heating and cooling your home. So heat pumps are a great way to save energy and save money. With so many uh, Iowa City residents being renters, we do hope to see more multi-unit uh, dwellings being built and retrofitted with heat pumps. And we do know of a local architect who is incorporating heat pumps into their designs. So Iowa City has climate goals to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions 45% by 2030 and to be net zero by 2050. And we actually reached that first goal 10 years early in 2020. With technology advancements, heat pumps are becoming more popular than geothermal units, citing heat pumps as easier to retrofit, easier to install, and far less expensive than a geothermal system. Biggest advantages of going air source heat pump is first cost, your installation costs. Uh, while there is a larger federal tax credit for a geothermal heat pump, you also have a, a lot more cost associated with it. Now, in the past, there was a big efficiency difference between air source and ground source heat pumps or geothermal. As that gap starts to get closer in terms of efficiency, uh, you're seeing a lot of people that are pushing more towards air source heat pump. Not only that, but you don't have the impact on drilling, whether it's horizontal drilling or vertical drilling. Uh, you cut that cost completely out. Uh, you also don't have to worry about pumps that can go bad or anything like that in the space and water quality, which is super important when you deal with geothermal. Uh, and also we're able to zone much more efficiently uh, because we're zoning with air handlers instead of zoning with ductwork. Uh, anytime you zone with ductwork, it just opens the door for more possibilities of more issues in the system. Uh, we're able to do much smaller zones with our air source heat pumps. So uh, it, it ends up being a lot more comfortable. Uh, it ends up being a lot more quiet in the home and a lot better for zoning. When it comes to return on investment, uh, that's one of the things we talk a lot about with heat pumps. One of my favorite sayings around that is if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. And a heat pump is one of the few things that you can put in your home that you'll actually get a return on your investment. Now, how quickly that unit pays for itself because it is so much more energy efficient than a traditional system depends on uh, what system you go with. We have everything from a 16 sear entry level piece of equipment to a 33 sear single zone, uh, which is the most efficient heat pump on the market for an inverter heat pump, uh, for an air source heat pump like that. So it depends on what efficiency you're going with, what your goals are, how much space you're gonna be covering with it. Uh, but it really depends on a lot of different factors, the cost of gas, the cost of electric, but usually when we talk payback, uh, compared to a unitary system, we're looking at somewhere between three to eight years payback. Uh, and with the Mitsubishi system, if installed by a diamond contractor, you can get up to a 12 year warranty. On that. So you're getting payback while you still have warranty on the product. Last week, the Inflation Reduction Act passed, offering the largest credits and rebates for the installation of heat pumps. The tax credit is good for 30% of the total cost of what you paid for the heat pump, including the cost of labor to install it, up to $2,000. And this is available through the end of 2032. In addition to the tax incentive, you may be eligible for up to $8,000 for a tax rebate through for installing a heat pump for space heating and cooling by a state-administered rebate program on any heat pump model. States are implementing their own requirements funded through a federal program through September 2031, so stay tuned. The federal tax credit program is eligible to anyone purchasing during 2022, even before the legislation passed. For the rebate programs, the rebates depend on income and that will be determined at the state level. Lastly, in addition to both the tax credit and rebate programs, you could also be eligible up to $1,200 in total tax credits per year on a wide range of efficiency upgrades, such as heat pumps. 
that there may also be state administered rebates on efficiency and electrification upgrades associated with installing your heat pump. So will a heat pump make its way into your house? I know I already have one queued for installation this fall and I'm excited to report back on the technology, which also, of course, integrates into my home, smart home ecosystem. Leave me a comment on your reaction to heat pumps. I know I had a fun time learning about them and familiarizing myself with the new technology. Until next time, thanks for watching.